This rare and mysterious sandpiper is named for its bristled thigh feathers. To find this bird in its breeding grounds, the easiest thing to do is start in Anchorage and fly to Nome. Then try to find a rental car in the busy streets of the town. Hint, hotels rent cars. Next, either run it through an undetail shop or drive a few miles on the local roads to coat with dirt so you blend in with the locals. And it's well worth having along a couple of high-powered bird guides like Kevin Zimmer and Brian Gibbons. And then head north out of Nome, about 70 miles or so. This will take you through some of the most beautiful country Alaska has to offer. And you stand a good chance of spotting some great Alaskan wildlife, like this vole, which has also been spotted, unfortunately for it, by this long-tailed Jaeger. Well, who'd have, who'd have thought it was going to turn into such a gore fest? <laughs> <laughs> I never realized that they had to work so hard at it. Oh, he ate it. Flying? Oh, he ate the whole thing. Oh! Look, oh, he's trying to get it down. Gosh, he's I can't, to get it I can't down. believe I ate oh, the whole yeah, thing. Oh, look at that. Oh. Uh-huh. You also might find some heavy road traffic. Kind of short legged guys, aren't they? Stubby. Yeah. Oh, there's another baby up on the hill yeah. here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the little ones really remind me of bison. Yeah, uh, they do. Yeah, look at yeah. that. Oh, look how cute. And of course, you are almost guaranteed to find the official Alaskan state land mammal. We are also on the lookout for the Alaskan state bird, the willow ptarmigan, but didn't expect to find it in a tree. And there is another interesting ptarmigan here, the rock ptarmigan. This bird spends its entire life cycle on the tundra, and due to limited contact with humans, often are very tame, as this one came close to check us out. But we are after the bristled thighed curlew, so we continue down the beautiful but long road until Brian and Kevin spot the well-marked trail. Well, well-marked in quotes, that is. From here, we get to hike up the boggy, muddy trail, wearing waterproof footgear that is at least calf high. After climbing about 300 vertical feet across half a mile, we are on the plateau. Now for the fun, combing the acres of tundra to find a bird that blends into the landscape. And bingo, success. Maybe, well, maybe not. Turns out this is a wimberl. It's about the same size, but the Bristol thighed has these distinguishing features. Buffer overall plumage, slightly thicker bill that is more curved, and a cinnamon rump best seen in flight. So it's back to searching the area. And when most are ready to give up the search and go back, Brian makes the find and calls us over. This is the Bristol Thighed Curlew. A very rare bird indeed, as the world population is less than 10,000. This bird was first described during Captain James Cook's voyage to Tahiti in 1769. It is now known that these birds winter exclusively on tropical Pacific islands, but the breeding place was not discovered until 1948, and that being the remote tundra in just two areas of western Alaska. That means these birds have one of the longest non-stop flights known for any bird, 2,500 to 4,000 miles. This flight is fueled not only by stored fat, but by metabolizing muscle and organ tissues, resulting in a significant loss of body weight during flight. This curlew is unique among shorebirds in that they are flightless during the molt that precedes return to their breeding grounds. This makes them susceptible to predation by mammals 
and especially introduce predators on the tropical islands where man has moved in. The bird has been identified as vulnerable because numbers may be declining, although population trends are lacking. Aside from blending into the background of the breeding area, these birds are also hard to find because the males are known to defend very large territories of up to 600 acres, resulting in low densities in the Alaskan tundra. All of this adds up to a rare and unusual bird, and while some of its mystery is beginning to be understood, it remains one of the most enigmatic of birds. And while half the fun is in the search, the satisfaction for us comes from seeing, photographing, and understanding what the Bristol Thighed Curlew is all about.